Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about python keywords and identifiers so guys keywords are nothing but these are the reserved words in python so basically these are the words that we cannot use as the identifiers now what are identifiers these are nothing but these are the names that are given to variables functions classes and many other objects that we are going to see in the upcoming videos as well so guys for examples as you can see over here the examples for keywords are true and then we have false if condition else condition elif so guys these are certain keywords that you must be aware if you have already learned some other programming language and if not then you don't have to worry but we are going to learn about these keywords in the upcoming videos as well you just need to know that these are certain keywords which cannot be used anywhere else apart from their own functionalities so guys over here in order to make it more easy for you i have the list of all the python keywords over here as you can see false none true and many other keywords are present that have specific functionality as far as python programming language is concerned and you cannot use them apart from their own functionality where they are supposed to be used now apart from this what are the examples of the identifiers as you can see message this is a particular name that we have given to a string another example is language which can define another language such as a korean language or the hindi language english language or spanish or french language or any other language which can be defined using this variable we also have other identifiers such as number count so this is nothing but these are certain names that are given to a particular variable so we should not mix up between the keywords and identifiers whenever we are writing the python programs so guys let us check this with the help of some examples over here so as you can see in this id we have the output of the previous example that we have executed so simply we can type cls that is the command in order to clear the content of the terminal over here when we press enter the entire terminal is cleared and then what we will do is as you can see previously we had written a print statement and inside this we had given the content that this is a statement what we can do is this value can be assigned to another variable which is called as the identifier so i will just remove this line over here and before this what i will do is let's say i provide str as the identifier name followed by equal to and then in between the double quotes i am supposed to provide the string that is this is a statement that we had printed over here using the print statement and then what we can do is in this print inside the open and close parenthesis over here we can simply provide this str which is the identifier so guys what exactly is happening over here is we have provided the content that we want to to print and we have stored that content in a particular identifier so this is called a identifier over here that is str which is nothing but a name over here which is given to this particular value and we can simply provide this name that is str over here and when we save this file and try running this code now so as you can see this is a statement is getting printed so it doesn't matter what content is provided over here we can provide some other statement as well like programming for beginners which is the name of the youtube channel which you should definitely subscribe if you have not subscribed it already so when we save this file and try running this code as you can see programming for beginners is getting printed now so it depends on what value is being stored in this particular variable which is also called as identifier we can give any name to this identifier let's say instead of str we can simply give statement as the name of this variable but we have to change it in the print statement as well so i'll just copy the statement variable and paste this over here so guys this is nothing but identifier it is also called as a variable since we are storing some particular value inside this variable i click on save and when i run this code once again again it is printing the same content that is programming for beginners so guys this is one example of identifier and in similar way we can have any other name to the identifier and along with that we are supposed to provide the value now apart from that can we use the keywords as the variable names so let us check this so let's say if i provide if keyword over here so instead of this statement over here i provide if and then let's say if i print this if so what will happen let me just save this file and try running this code 
so as you can see it is providing the syntax error that is invalid syntax and we can see if equal to so over here it is pointing out so as i have already told you we cannot use keywords as the identifier since they have their own meaning as far as python programs are concerned so we need to avoid the keywords being used as the identifiers and we should give some other names apart from all these keywords that are being displayed over here which we are going to learn in the upcoming videos as well guys it will only come with practice that you will come to know that which are the python keywords and which you are not supposed to use as the identifiers so no need to worry you just stick with me till the end of this video series and we are going to learn a lot about the python programs now there are certain rules while naming the identifiers so as you can see identifiers cannot be a keyword which we have just proved by providing the if keyword over here and then apart from that identifiers are case sensitive so guys these are two different identifiers let's say i provide str over here which is one identifier we can simply print this using the print statement over here and then let's say we have another identifier as str so over here we can have a different statement so let's say i simply provide the string over here so what will happen is if i save this file and try running this code now it is saying programming for beginners but str and str both the identifiers are same the only difference is these characters are uppercase characters whereas this str has lowercase characters but when we provide this str over here in the print statement let me just save this file and try running this code as you can see this time string is getting printed that's because we have saved this string in this particular identifier that is capital str so guys this proves that identifiers are case sensitive and you have to take caution while you are naming your identifiers over here apart from that it can have a sequence of letters and digits as well however it must begin with a letter or a underscore the first letter of an identifier cannot be a digit so basically we are supposed to start with the letter or it can also be a underscore over here and then white spaces are not allowed and apart from that we cannot use special symbols like exclamation mark at the rate hashtag and dollar sign and so on so there are certain special characters which cannot be used while you are naming your identifiers so guys these are certain rules while you are naming your identifiers or the variables and we are going to follow these rules while we are writing the python programs in the upcoming videos as well so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you practice on your own so that you come to know about the differences between the keywords and the identifiers please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python variables constants and literals so stay tuned